All right, what a way to close the Africa International Film Festival 2022. It's the 11th edition of Afrif. And today we're here to see the closing film and it's all about our Marjorie. Well, I'm sure tonight's going to be very exciting, given that it's the last film for Afrif. I expect nothing less than something so entertaining. Tonight, I expected great things. I expected it's going to be a bomb. I saw the, um, the trailer and I was blown away. And I, I do not expect nothing less from the film. The work he's putting is really amazing. Like from the trailer, I think it's, it's, it's great. I feel really excited. I can't wait to be wild. I'm super, super excited to see the film. I can't wait. This year, everything, all the movies that are, that are being presented, it really showcased all the product that Nigeria has, everything that Nigeria is putting out, and it's really showing uh, how Nigeria has the potential to compete with any other country around the world. The same as my expectations have been with all the films at AFRIF, uh, very high. Chioma does a fantastic job of programming a great cross-section of films here, so I'm very excited to see it. And it's been amazing, and I expect nothing else from the final film. I'm sure if it's the closing film, then it should be really, really good. Um, uh, AY, you don't bag almost 12 hours on top of this movie, safe. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. I feel like once the movie has gotten a lot of awards, then it increases the demand to watch it. Also well done, you know, to, to believe in a story, to believe in a film, also to carry it. I'm going to say congratulations, even before seeing the film. We are proud of AY, making us look good globally. I know that this is AY leaving his comfort zone to create this beautiful picture. It was a shock for some of us because we thought that after the trip to Atlanta and the rest of them, now we are seeing something indigenous from him. So, and I also know that Tucker Maguire, who is the director, is a very thorough one. So, yes, I can't wait to see it. Everyone that knows AY uh, knows that AY is the king of the box office. And if you know Toka, one of Africa's hottest directors, the combination of these two is the recipe for insanity. <laughs> I'm starting to say chills, to have chills. You know, we trust Brasera now. Brasera is always give them back to back. I hope, you know, and become one of those truly epic films that people talk about for a long time. Uh, I'm not a Nottina. I want to know what the story is about. We're all from the same country. And I think that it, it's, it's an um, expressive industry. So let's go out there and tell the best stories that we can in the best way that we can. First of all, I think this is different from other um, content that um, AY has put out there. This is really deep. I enjoy the fact that we are getting to tell stories that are real, deep and true. But I know they went deeper. They went inside Ninja to tell us something is going on over there. So I know that I'm going to expect something exceptional. Just by looking at the poster, it's, it's full of art, it has depth. So I'm looking forward to something interesting, something a story well told, and the cast doing exceptionally well. well I have seen the trailer of Almajiri, which is why I'm not so surprised that it was a huge success at Tinif this year. And I can't wait to watch the film. You know, I've known AY for his work, and he always go out to get the best. Funny enough, I played in this film. I was the bodyguard and uh, I had the opportunity of handling whip on that day. I just want to be wild. Like, take me away. <laughs> Amazing, beautiful, undescribable. Yeah, I like the, the Gangajuan project. This are uh, true stories. This is our story. We are the only ones who can say it better. I grew up in the north. I grew up in Kano, Kaduna. So I can actually put myself in the shoes because I've seen what it is. You know when you really don't know, you know, the insight of what's going on until you see it in pictures, you know. So in the cinema I had so much mixed feelings. I don't know whether to cry. I don't know whether to laugh. You know, but it's a good thing. The movie gave us a lot, and then we learned of the societal ill called the Alumajeri system. Growing up, I used to think Alumajeri system is Alumajeris were names they give beggars, not knowing that there were people behind it. So it's really something to touch on, and uh, you know, AY is doing great. And this, to me, this is one of his, if not the best, really though. So I think we've grown past um, telling story for the sake of telling the story, but we should be able to generate a discourse. I think this sure will. I've always grown up seeing these Almagerians and not for once have I ever thought that this could possibly be their story. I mean, we see and we hear people say, oh, some of them have parents and they're just being sent into the street to beg for their parents. But I did not think that there was a slave system to all of this where, you know, some people are taking 
literally trafficked and they have no choice than to beg and go back to this camp. Everyone should just see it because I can't encompass it through. Just come and see Amajuri. It was beautiful. I have three words for this film. One, educative, exceptional and interactive. <laughs> Alex, I didn't think he could speak Hausa, but apparently he's a fantastic Hausa speaker. You know, it's an ocean of divide shooting a movie and then watching how people receive the movie. I'm glad everybody received the movie well and they loved it and were able to, you know, get the right emotions out of them. So we feel like job well done. It's a Nigerian story and it was made so well. It's gonna, we're going to have conversations with this for a long time. Nigeria needs this right now. We need, we need to send out messages of hope of healing that will get the, you know, for those who are not aware, to begin, begin to cause that, that awareness, you know, be amplified in the society as we live in right now. Well scripted story, mind blowing. Again, just depicting the ills we're facing in the country. And I like the fact that, like the theme says, it's indigenous for global. We're basically just telling authentic African stories and this is what's peculiar to us. Yeah, we, we made the right decision, you know, in trying to put our Marjorie together. I really didn't expect this much in terms of reactions and what of you. So I'm very, very happy. I'm proud and I'm excited. I want to say a very big thank you to the cast and crew. It wasn't easy, you know, uh, waking up morning, day and night trying to make this work. We're able to carry away with 12 awards for uh, Marjorie and five uh, nominations at the Amas and another 11 nominations for the best of Nollywood. Very many much more to come so I, I think this is different and right now I'm happy uh, that uh, Amajiri is going places and I am thinking we'll, we'll begin to think in this direction to do some more serious stuff yeah just come and watch the film I don't want to say more <laughs> <laughs> Amajuri will be out soon. Come watch it. Watch out for this movie. Amajuri is coming out soon. Please watch out for Amajuri. Come see Amajuri. It's coming out soon. You would love to see the movie Amajuri. Don't miss it. <laughs>